Welcome back to another episode of Expediting of the Americas. Today is Monday, starting off the week here in Illinois, picking up an O'Hare Air France um, hangar, and we're going to uh, Patascala, Ohio, I think is how you say it. I'm not really sure. I'll put the name here for the city, and you can let me know if I'm saying it correctly or not. Um, it's not a far trip, it's 317 miles, but it's paying 500 bucks. Let's get to the Air France hangar and uh, pick up our load. Head in to Ohio for Meyer Shank Racing. Wonder where we're gonna be picking up, we'll see. Stay tuned. So one of the cool things about this job is you never know what you're gonna haul. And I always like to do my research and today we're hauling for the Myers Shank Racing Team. They're an Indy and Supercar Racing Team. They actually won the Indy race the week prior to me delivering this engine part for them. So that's just a little cool up behind the scenes backstory on what we're hauling today. This is why I like driving a Sprinter van and not a big ass truck. Cause those guys gotta sit and wait and do all this stuff. And I can come park with the regular people over here right in front of where we gotta be. Boom. Maybe I shouldn't say boom at an airport. We are back guys. First time. Where you from, buddy? Guatemala. Guatemala. Woo. No problem, buddy. Working hard or hardly working, buddy. You're listening. Choosing not to. If you only knew. If you listen, you would know that there's a dog outside. Now, normally on the episode of Expediting America, I show the loads being forklifted into the back of the van. But uh, this time I forgot to hit the record button like a smart guy. So unfortunately, you guys got to see me getting fueled up and some more Bubba Joe footage. And then we're going to hit the road. That's a good looking shadow right there. That bald head shadow. Good morning. How you doing, sir? What did we do wrong? Nothing. I'm dropping off something to you. What do we got? Looks like just one pallet. Not really sure what it is. Really. Okay. Okay. I'll pull around. Do you want me to back up? Forkliftable. Forkliftable. Or, or I can carry it for you if you want. Well, let's go look at it. Hold on a second. All right. Oh. How's your day going? Nearly perfect. You guys get started early here, don't you? Uh, it's that's so I can just. Get going. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, it's my buddy. What are you guys expecting? Bubba, stay. Yeah, let me get the I'll get the forklift. Alright, well, sounds good. I'll be right back Alright. Let's 
see if we can get some inside access. I want to see some of these race cars. All right, here we go for the breakdown. So the total mileage was 357 miles. Total pay, $500. The van owner gets 35% of that. That's 175. And then gas was 90 bucks and left me with 235. So you guys are a pretty big racing team? Yeah, we uh, won last year. Get out of here. Yeah. That's awesome. Are you racing, like, racing? I'm not like a huge fan, but I just recently went to what they call Gator National down in Florida. Yeah, the drag racing and stuff. That was pretty dope. If you want to walk around, I'll show you. The yeah, cars. that'd be awesome. Have your all your offices for the bosses and the engineers. We put a car up top and equipment. Up top? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we put a car right in there and some equipment in there. That is so cool. So does it lower down or something, or how? Does... You got a lift gate on the back. Oh my god! What does a, a truck like this run? Like a billion? Uh, half a million. Half a million? Something of that nature. My goodness. So we run sports car. We got two cars, two trucks per, per car. So we'll take two semis in these cars, and take two semis on that end, and we pull it up and back. <laughs> motor home slash truck that is awesome and you can't take a video in here okay no problem so that was pretty cool i got to see a behind the scenes look at all cars that were taken apart one of their cars actually just won the indie race last week and uh so it's pretty dope to see you know it's something you don't get to see every day and i'm just thankful that dave got to show me this stuff and uh i wish i could have shown you the cool stuff behind the scenes behind besides the trucks but uh a lot of the cars are taken apart and for for competition reasons they don't want their competition to see what the parts look like and stuff like that um, one cool thing they told me is that they have a new hybrid uh, sports car it's coming out it's gonna be uh, electric assisted so it's gonna go even faster but Bubba Joe where you at Bubba Joe there you are how you doing bud you ready to see where we're going next oh Learning how to stand? I remember how that was when I was a baby. Love you, buddy.